Welcome learners. Today's chemistry lesson is being transmitted right from UPA command center at the top notch. The teacher of the day is Martin Bunguswa. In today's lesson, we are going to summarize all the reactions of alkanols in form of what you call a flowchart. Remember, we've covered the properties of the alkanols but whenever they are taught, brought in the exam, they are also always matched so that it's presented to you in form of a flowchart. And I have an example of a flow diagram that you can see right on the screen. My starting reagent is ethanol. Now, ethanol has already been gotten from a process called fermentation of sugars. During fermentation, the condition was either yeast or temperature of about 40 degrees Celsius. The second process uh, property of alkanol is called combustion. When we ignite an alcohol in sufficient supply of oxygen, it will burn with a blue flame to give us a compound called carbon dioxide and water. And always check the amount of oxygen that has been supplied. If you are taught excess oxygen, then the product is carbon dioxide. If you are taught limited supply of oxygen, then the product is carbon trioxide. Another property shown on our diagram is towards the right hand side, and that is called displacement reaction. That when ethanol reacts with a more electropositive metal like sodium or potassium, the product formed is an ethoxide. If I use sodium, I'll get sodium ethoxide. I also want you to know that when you come to the chemical properties of alkanos, mainly we're interested with major products. We could be having other products which are called minor, but you have what you call the major. Like in the displacement reaction, when I add sodium to alcohol, I am interested mainly with the major product, which is called sodium ethoxide. However, hydrogen may also be produced. Down here, we are adding concentrated sulfuric acid. The name of the process is dehydration, which gives you an alkene. And the dehydrating agents, we are either using concentrated sulfuric six acid, with a condition temperature of 160 to 180. I can use phosphoric acid, temperature of above 180 degrees Celsius, or I can also use aluminum oxide, which must be heated to temperatures of above 300 degrees Celsius. The other process you can see down here, where we are adding potassium manganese 7, we write stroke hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion means that it must be acidified. Dichromate 6 stroke hydrogen ion means it must be acidified because the reaction may not take place in another media other than acidic media. And that reaction is referred to as oxidation and the product is the corresponding alkanoic acid. The other process you can also see on the flow chart is where I'm reacting an alkanol with a carboxylic acid. We said the name of the process is esterification. And the condition is you need concentrated sulfuric 6 acid, which may act as a catalyst, and you must apply some warmth in order for that compound to be formed, which is called an ester. And esters are characterized by pleasant smells. So that is a summary of all the properties that alkanols undergo. Then, lastly, on alkanols, we summarize by looking at the uses, the uses of alkanos. We may use ethanol as an example. One, ethanol as an alkanol, as an example of an alkanol, is used as an antiseptic when used under specified concentration, like to treat wounds. Ethanol is also used as a solvent in the manufacture of such substances as vanishes and also in the preparation of drugs. Ethanol 
is used as a fuel when blended with gasoline to form a substance called gasol. And the reason why it's used as a fuel is because whenever it burns, energy is produced. Ethanol is used as an alcoholic beverage or a drink. In fact, all the drinks, most of alcoholic drinks, contains ethanol. Remember, alcohol is a social drink, but only becomes a drug if it is misused. Ethanol is also used in the manufacture of synthetic fibers like polythene. But under that, the polythene is not formed directly from ethanol. However, the ethanol is dehydrated to form ethene. Then the ethene becomes the starting material for the manufacture of polyethene. Now, during fractional distillation, we always get a substance down there as a residue, which is also called methanol. Methanol is a product of fractional distillation of beers. And usually, um, it is added to what you call methylated spirit to make it unpalatable. But on its own, methanol is used as a raw material for the manufacture of some certain plastics. There is also another alcohol which is called ethanol 2 diol which is a product of oxidation of ethene. This is an alcohol with two OH groups. It is used as an antifreeze agent in car radiators in countries which are very, very cold. Commonly, it is known as uh, gas uh, uh, hole. Those are some of the uses of alcanos. There could be many others. We have only captured a few that you need to know. So during your own reading, if you come across any other uses of alcanos, do not hesitate to put them on our, our list. That is all about the topic called alcanos. And if you have any question or reservations, kindly visit our site in order to place your questions and they'll be answered appropriately.